Hi, I'm Hannah Jaff. I'm a philanthropist, human rights activist, conference speaker, and author. The reason why I wanted to become a philanthropist was because of my mom and dad. My mom is Mexican Catholic and my dad is Muslim Kurdish from Iraq. And my father always took me to the Middle East and we always volunteered on refugee camps. And my mom is very passionate about helping immigrants, so I would always visit shelter homes. Every time you walk in a refugee camp, it's like time is frozen because people wait and nothing really ever happens the next day. They just wait and they wait and they wait. And every time you pass a camp, every single camp has a different story. And when you're, it's nighttime and you're walking, you feel it. You feel death. You feel sadness. I promise to be a voice for the people that don't have an opportunity to be in LA and do it. Apostemos al mañana. Si nuestros niños hablan inglés, tienen garantizado un mejor trabajo. Todos lo sabemos. Mejoremos el futuro hoy. I think the best way to eliminate hate in the world is awareness. So I sort of talk about that in my conferences as well. I tell them, you know, because many people don't understand uh, how important higher education is in today's society. I'm an author of English books. We just get donations, that my own book. Today we've donated about 60,000 of them to refugees and immigrants. We have it English, Spanish, it's self-taught English books. And we also have Kurdish speakers to learn English and Purepecha speakers, which is a native language in Mexico. I know many people will say, well, f there's a lot of issues before that, right? But for me, communicating with Americans, job offers, opportunities, really goes a long way. And people that I've given the books to later on have written back saying, you know, I studied your book for hours and uh, thanks to the book, I could at least get myself around. The same thing for refugees because most of them are being either moved to a country that most likely they don't speak. So if they know at least English, it's something that I can help them with for a new start. Esta amistad para que sepas ya está dañada. Vámonos. No es el momento. No es el momento. Somos de sangre caliente. Somos latinos. Sentimos mucho y es bonito. Well, Maine in Mexico, uh, when they did look, uh, message me and find me, I was really excited because I've lived in the U.S. in the East Coast and West Coast, and I lived in Europe and in the Middle East. And every time I would say to people that I was Mexican, there is always this space with people that or a negative comment about me being Mexican or living in Mexico. And I think it's the stereotype um, that we've seen on TV. When they approached me and they told me that, well, there's this opportunity to show Mexico in a different way. And I said, where do I sign? After you've seen so many struggles and tragedies and sadness from the eyes and feelings of other people. I think you never really sleep at night the same, unless you know that your life has actually made a difference to help others.